Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out on a regular basis. At this point, we've got coaches who are success coaches within our company that put out content pretty much on a 24 hour basis. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that, that goes out. Don't stay stuck with your business, right? I've been there where I've needed someone or I've needed some help, advice. This channel was built for that, right? It was built to help you to build, scale, grow your business so you're not stuck and you avoid some of the mistakes that our coaches have made with their businesses, okay? So make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to get in contact with me to speak to me personally, there's two ways to do that. If you visit my Calendly link in the description of this video, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call. We jump on Zoom. I can show you some actionable steps, answer some of your questions, right? And I can try and get your business to the next level and show you some actionable steps you can take this week to scale and grow. Now, if you don't want to do that, you just want to send me a question, then you can do that as well. You can send me an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com right so those are the two ways and make sure you you don't forget to subscribe to our channel right so today i want to talk about how i created my own football academy right football slash soccer academy so i own a an academy which is called the football domain academy if you look behind me there's a message that i have Right. It's called never. Well, I created it myself, but it's called never doubt yourself. Right. And this was a message that I look every I look at every single day, every single morning when I come into my office. I, I have it there and I have it there because when I first started my business, I doubted myself. Right. I doubted that I could do it. I doubted that, you know, clients would want to train with me. I doubted that I could build a brand. And today I wanted to talk to you about three things that I did to create my own football slash soccer academy. Okay, now I created it in a way that fitted around my schedule. I created it in a way that I was able to work. Well, I still am doing it, but I'm able to work with, with clients that fit my personality. Clients that I want to work with, kids that want to be part of the program, and a certain type of client that isn't at a higher level. He's he's in the middle, but he wants to get there. He's hungry to get better, and he's got potential. So essentially, my coaching philosophy is I like to work with players who are beginner, intermediate, get them committed to my program for a long period. So it might be a year and a half, two years. And then after that, push them on to the high, a higher level or it could be a higher program or it could be a pro club. So that's my philosophy as a coach. That's what I enjoy doing. And I've seen result after result with the clients I've worked with. But there's three things I, I looked at. There's three things I did when I first started. First one is when I created the company, right? I had to make sure that first I had everything in place. So legally, I had to make sure that my company was registered. I had to make sure that I had, had insurance to work with clients. And also I had to make sure that everything was in place in order to do my taxes. So wherever you are in the world watching this, you will have to pay tax on your with your business. So I made sure that before I was working with any clients or customers, that that was in place, right? It was legally set up. It was, I had insurance in case of anything happening. And also I made sure that the, the, the company was in a position that I was able to file my taxes correctly, which meant that I had to invest into an accountant. So the first in, major investment I made was into an accountant that helped me to set up the business legally. Second one was I invested and I found a mentor. So at that time, when, when I was starting up, my mentor was, was Ben Neighbors. So if you've watched our channel 
for a while, you know who Ben is, right? Ben is the founder of our company. And I was once a student of the program. I was a student of the program. The program helped me to get great results with my business. And what I did is, is I went to Ben and I said, Ben, I love your mission. I love what you do. And essentially what I, I want to do now is I want to help coaches to grow and scale what they're doing. So I found a mentor and believe me, it was probably the best investment I'd made because, you know, I, I avoided a lot of things that I see coaches that I speak to today that are making. And a lot of coaches are very stubborn to make any changes. But with Ben, I found someone that had already done it. They've made, I think Ben's made every single mistake possible out there when he was starting and growing. And he taught me how to avoid those mistakes. So essentially, when I started my business, right, I knew how to get clients. I knew how to get paid. I knew how to set up a payment system. I knew how to set up a website. I knew how to get clients onto a call. I knew how to speak to clients. I had everything in place so I could just start marketing and selling, right? Everything was there. So that was the second thing I did, right? To before. I create, when, when I created the business, I found a mentor that helped and guide me through the process. So as I was adding clients and as the business was growing, I could ask someone questions, right, Ben, I'm up 10 clients now. What, what do you think is the next step to move to 10? Okay, bang, this is what you need to do. Okay, great. I've done that. Now my business has grown to 20 clients. Now, now we're at 20. What extra services can I offer? Can I run a camp? Maybe can I run a clinic? Or how can I get referrals? Okay, boom, I implemented that. The business then grew to 30 clients, right? It was just constantly growing. And it helped me to just avoid mistakes, right? I still made mistakes, which every business owner makes naturally. But I avoided the bigger ones that cost money. And I did that because I invested and I took the time to learn from someone who had already done what I've, what I've done. Now, the third one is probably the most important thing I did when, when I built and created the business was I prioritized and I, and I built my perfect client profile. So perfect client profile means that I had in lockdown what clients I wanted to work with. So when I started the business, I was working with different types of players, advanced players, media, intermediate players, beginner players. I had them all mixed in groups, which then I realized, you know what, this is going to bring a lot of problems because if you've got advanced players training with beginners, the advanced players will start to get frustrated and ultimately they're going to decide to leave your program. So what I decided is, right, I'm going to work with a certain type of client and I'm going to start filtering out clients that come into me that aren't of that, that, that profile. And once that happened, my business got better, better and better. And it, and it grew naturally because what happened is clients, new clients that were coming into my ecosystem were working and training alongside clients who were at a similar level. And together they get, they got better, which meant they got better results. So that's what I did to start my business, right? Number one, I, I set it up legally. So whichever country you're in, something I would recommend is go and find an accountant in your local area, a CPA, and ask them questions, right? Off, well, some of them offer you like free consults, so go and book a consultation with an accountant. If you have to pay for it, pay for it. It's going to be worth it. And they'll be able to guide you in the best direction to, to open and start your business. Second one is I invested into a mentor, right? Now, sometimes you don't have to make an investment, right? Sometimes you can just grab content. Like, for example, YouTube, what you're watching now, you can grab that content and implement it into your business. But it doesn't work if you don't implement, right? The second one is I got, I found a mentor, found someone that had already done what I was, wanted to do. 
They've already got great results and now they're helping other people to achieve that success. Right. And that was my second. That was the second bit I, I did. And then the third one was I broke down and I really narrowed down which type of clients I wanted to work with. OK, I didn't want to be spread out. I didn't want to work with any type of player. I wanted to work with a specific type of player that I knew I could get great results, that I knew would be in my program for, for long, right? At this point, I've had clients with me for four years now. Okay, some of them are, some of them started with me when they were eight and, you know, they're 12, 12 years old now, okay? So some of them have been with me for four years, but that's because that's the type of client I wanted to work with, right? Beginners. I know I can get them great results. I've done it already. And I know that they're going to stay with me if I can push them to the next level and get success with them. Okay. So if you need more help, right, reach out to me. As I said, I've done this already. I've done it myself. I've built a business from scratch. I've also, well, I'm currently helping people, coaches in soccer and, and other sports to create their own sports training businesses so that they can work with their preferred clients. They can grow, they can scale, and they can ultimately, what we all want to do is provide for our families. Okay, so get in contact with me. Two ways you can do that. Visit the Calendly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me, or you can just send me a direct email to my email, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.